Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today continues FL Studio Week, Fleek FL Week. And in this video, we're going to show you how to complete a whole trap beat inside of FL Studio 12. So we're going to start from scratch and show you every step it takes to con complete a trap beat. So the steps we're going to go over today are picking the right drums, setting up your chord progression, creating a quick melody, adding your bass line, and then we're going to show you how to quickly mix your track to make it sound a little bit better. Okay, so let's first start. Let's start by importing sounds into our browser. Now the browser is this side on the left. If you haven't watched our FL Studio in 5 Easy Steps, you want to click this uh, in the video, the link in the video. It'll take you to the other video where we go over how to navigate around FL Studio 12. So we're going to show you, after navigation, we're going to show you how to get into each of these steps and how you're going to apply it on your day-to-day beat creation process. So let's go to options and let's go to file settings. This is going to open up our file settings where we can import under browser extra search folders. We can import drum kits and different sound libraries. So let's click here on this folder and we're going to navigate to our drum kits from busyworksbeats.com. And we're going to include the 808 science drums for our bass drums. So now you can see on the left side, the newly added folder with a plus sign 808 science drums and then we're also going to add uh, the X kit for busyworksbeats.com so let's go back let's go to X drums so now we see uh, X drums at the bottom here has been added so now we can access those drum samples from those folders inside of our browser okay so let's click out of the file settings and let's go to the bottom left and here's where we're going to start picking our kick drum, our snare, our hi-hats, and then we're going to pick our 808s from the 808 science drum. So I have my subs on so we can hear the 808 tone a little bit better. So first let's go to kicks. First sounds you want to pick for your drums are the kicks and snares. And we're going to give you the file download for this project so you don't have to worry about trying to find these sounds. Okay, so we have kicks. We're just going to run through the kicks. And it takes, this little clock shows you that it takes time to read the uh, folder. So that's a pretty subby kick. We're just looking for a punchy kick because we're going to be making trap beats today. And uh, you want something that is very punchy and very quick. You don't generally have longer kicks in trap music. Now that's a good 808. Even though it's not a, a long tonal 808, it's a, you know, they're sub tone. In it. That's a good one right there. So here's a nice punchy kick. 
So what I tell people to do is, the project generally starts with four samples in what's called a channel rack. Okay, so this is where all the sounds are gonna go. What I like to do is just right click, hit D to delete, and hit enter on these initial four sounds, just to get rid of them, because we're not gonna be using them anyway for this track. So when you find sounds in your sampler, or in your browser, you wanna right click and open in new channel. This is gonna open into a new slot in your channel rack. So now the sample is now its own thing. And you can right click and delete the sampler now. They add this sampler so that there's no empty space in the channel rack, but you can delete that as well. Now we found our kick lift finally. Snare. Okay, kick and snare are the first two sounds you generally start with when building your trap beat. Now we have a specific snare. I'm not gonna run through all of them. I already know this is it. Snare TR, which is trap. We're gonna right click and open in new channel. So now we have the snare and we have the kick. Okay, and those are sounds you hear a lot in trap music. So they're dedicated to this genre. So sound selection is the first step to creating the beats you want to create. And without proper sound selection, um, you, know, you can lead yourself down the wrong rabbit hole. Okay, so you want to get the right sounds before you start. So once you have the kick and the snare, we're going to open up the hi hat to this point. So we're going to click on the hi hat and cycle through. And I already know this one's good for this type of beat. So I'm going to right click and open a new channel. So notice how you, once you start to build these habits, it's going to be easier when you're creating beats by yourself. Okay, so we have the hi-hat, we have the snare. Now let's grab a cymbal just for some high frequency activity. I like that one, so let's right click. samples and they confuse their musical notes later down the line so before we start let's tune the 808 sample let's click on it left click let's right click the sample and go to edit this is going to pull up the plugin called Edison which has been redone visually which looks really cool now we're going to click here under the uh, well it's, I don't know if it's labeled but this marker shape here next to the French there and let's go to detect pitch regions Okay, so now it's telling us the pitch region here is A. So this means that the 808 is on the note A. So what we have to do is X out of Edison and then go to our 808. We're gonna click on the settings window or the uh, envelope tab and then we're gonna right click 